Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and today we are going to be talking about the Pizel Padillac. Here we got a 7.6 Padillac, and oh, holy sh**, I actually have John Pizel <laughs> behind it. It's actually a great time to talk about the Padillac, because we have sure. John here. Great timing. At Real, I mean, it's, it's actually quite coincidental. And uh, <laughs> John, have? let's, I mean, I don't know, I'm speechless. Why don't you take it over? <laughs> I don't think you've ever been speechless, but okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, this is the Padillac. Uh, this is the board that um, we've been making this thing for, I've been doing it for like five or six years now, I think. And um, kind of came about from Mark Healy, actually. And he was, he actually named it the Padillac. He's like, I made him a board and um, he actually, I'd been making all his boards, like mm -hmm. short boards, pipe boards, all this stuff. And then I'm like, dude, you're like one of the gnarliest big wave guys I know. Like I got him just make you, a, like he was getting big wave boards from, all these different guys. Right, right. I'm like, let me just make you a, a big board. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, all right, come over to my house, take a look at some boards and then whatever. So I went to his house and he showed me two boards and they were like totally, completely different boards. Like one was this narrow pinny gun and the right. other one was like this big wide nose, weird, like right. fun gun. And um, so I just kind of mentally kind of put those together and came up with this board. <laughs> right. And uh, it's kind of like a wider nose. The front end of it's a little bit wider. The wide points forward, which is like a traditional kind of older gun outline almost. And um, with all the thickness up in the front with the beak, like I put a beak on them just to keep it all beefy through here. Mm -hmm. So it gives you all this paddle power. Anyways, I made him a, um, I made him a nine, eight, but it, the tail was a little wide. So I chopped it off and re-templated it, but I, so it was a nine seven, but I still wrote nine eight on it, so you okay. feel happy about it, not yeah. be scared. Yeah, nine seven is a little weird. Yeah, he, I never told him about that till later after he maybe till now after he surfed Mavericks. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, so that board just turned out to be something really good. It was a four fin. I kind of had to figure out where to put four fins on a board. I hadn't as a board that big. Right. I was making thrusters always at that point, and um, he wanted a quad, so I kind of just figured out where I'd put something, and they're pretty far forward. And the board ended up being really, really loose, but like drivey, but loose, which is kind of ideal, what you kind yeah. of really want for big waves. Um, his whole thing was like, it wasn't designed to just be like a board to ride YMA or something where you just make the drop and you're yeah. done. Yeah. It was like, he wanted to surf like long, bigger outer reef waves where you actually like turn. Where you get to and turn on them. You need to project off the bottom. You can't yeah. just like stand there and, and let it kind of crumble out behind you. So um, anyways, that's what I ended up making him a nine seven. And he just, he loved it. He came back and he's like, you got, you should call this thing a Padillac. Like you can catch any wave on it. So yeah. he's like, I feel like I can paddle into anything. And I'm like, all right, that's a good name. So went with that. Hopefully Cadillac's not going to sue us for anything. <laughs> I mean, that's and, a uh, big, uh, I mean, talking about that change. I mean, if you, if you go back a little bit in time, you know, in surfboards in general, right? Like, you know, the shorter boards went through that same evolution of like yeah. having like wider, thicker noses and being flatter. And, uh, and then the guns, I mean, if you go back to the, to the older school guns, I mean, they were, they were, they were super narrow, yeah. super thin, like elf shoot out. Yeah, the they front. Were like, I mean, they're really more meant just to get like pitched in at YMA and, yeah. and that was it. They weren't really well, meant for open water paddling and paddle speed at no, all. Super weird. Like they're actually like, when I look at those boards, like from the like late nineties, early two thousands, mm -hmm. even, they're like, um, they just look like giant pipeline boards. Like guys are just, it's like a step up, just like keeps right, going bigger, right. and bigger and bigger and bigger and like super curvy, like you're saying, super thin. Um, but this thing, we just kind of went with a whole different direction of like, hey, let's keep things real fast as far as paddling goes. Like the rockers just really consistent, smooth, nothing, yeah. no bumps, no weird pushing water. And then having all that volume up front just gives you like momentum once you start paddling you have that weight in front of you that's like carrying you down, getting you down the face. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, the whole the whole rail, like the board for its thickness in the middle, they have a pretty tapered rail because mm -hmm. you don't want, if you do a bottom, you you love it. I mean, you ride these boards. Yeah, no, and, I mean, I've got an 8.0, a 9.0, and a 10.0 that yeah. I love. So if you, when you ride a big wave on a big board, if you have a big bulky rail, which I mean, you need some bulk obviously, but the bulkier the rail, the more you feel it as you put it in the water, it, it's, it's dragging, it's slowing you yep. down. I mean, it's really noticeable when you're going fast on a big wave. And so I try to keep the rail more tapered so there's less wetted surface area, basically. And then through the tail, the boards, we thin them out like so they get really thin down here. I mean, these things are under a quarter inch in the tail mm -hmm. and, um, and real blady through the rail. So you have like a real sensitivity for how big the board is. Mm -hmm. 
So you can actually like feel once you do sink your rail and you, it lets you tip it over on the rail easier. Yeah. And it gives you like that sensitive feel, even though it's a giant board, hopefully. I mean, that's the plan. You know, like in every board that we talk about, like in these videos or in the shop, like when people are buying boards, like we're always talking about like, oh, this board paddles great or this board like catches waves great. But like yeah. when you're talking about this board in specific or guns and, and you know, whether it be like a semi gun, like a like this seven six, you yeah, know, like yeah. a full on gun, like a like a nine six, um, it that makes a difference between like you know one either getting completely mowed yeah. by a clean up yeah. set or or, or catching the wave of the day. Yeah. I mean that's a big reason about why this board is so popular. Like in you know in this category is just the is the paddle speed. Yeah. You know? well, and, and sometimes it's like oh this board paddles great and that board paddles great, but it's it's literally a game changer when you get on something like this in big waves. Well, and then one of the things that we don't really talk about that much is like, it's not just catching the wave, it's also getting out of the way of that set. That's exactly, kind of like, that's, like, that's like 50%. Yeah, yeah, you can like, instead of being sitting there like scared out of your mind, you're yeah. like, oh cool, I can sit deeper in here because I know like if there is a bomb that comes, I can right. either get out to get it or at least get out of the way of it right. too, either way, you know, you're yeah. like, it lets you escape or it lets you get back into stuff real easy. Yeah. It makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. The, uh, Instead of like um, just sitting, like, sitting oh, back, yeah, or yeah. sitting in the channel and yeah. watching, you yeah, know, which totally. happens to a lot of people. Totally. I mean, you, you touched on a really good point, like you know, being scared, you know, and yeah. that's a yeah. lot. That's um, like when you have people that like that ride bigger waves, and then people that are like interested in bigger waves, but like don't ride them, like, and they're always like, ah, oh, that's like that's not for me, you know, like I don't yeah. I don't do that, you know. Yeah. And uh, like one of the things that we always recommend, and what what is bigger waves for people is different, totally for different yeah, people. Yeah. But uh, the number one thing that uh, that we always recommend is like it's you know yeah part of it might be you just because you're not used to it right. but the other thing is is your board you yeah. know like and if if you go oh. like if you take your standard six two or even like what a board that feels like big to you like you right. take like a seven zero yeah. and then you paddle it out into something that you should be on a nine zero yeah. you're gonna be scared out of yeah, your I'll mind tell you, no matter you know? what you're in the wrong stuff exactly like, and yeah, the you, reason you, that you're scared is that you're you're basically lost out there yeah, like you, you don't have the paddle speed to get out of the way you don't have the have paddle speed to get no into it no chance of making a wave if you catch it anyway yeah yeah it's a big difference and and the thing that i like about these boards too is that like i always get people to kind of get them bigger and longer than they mm -hmm. kind of expect a lot of guys will be like well i want a 76 and i'm like well what do you want? like try an 80 or try you know yeah, a little yeah. bit bigger and then they usually pretty much always come back to me and going oh yeah you were right like that thing cuz it is a real maneuverable board it's yeah. not like the longer it is, it doesn't make it like super stiff and, and funky. It's like it works. Yeah. And you can yeah. surf it. You can do turns on it and everything, which is so if you can go bigger and still have like a performance feel to it for your for whatever your level is right. or for whatever size the waves are, yeah. then it's a pretty good thing. You know, it's like you don't want to I find myself I tend to kind of ride two small boards in a lot of times and I'm like, oh, why I'm yeah. sitting inside under things. And then I'll take out one of these and just be like, oh, this is so easy. Like I'm yeah. not, the wave hasn't even broken yet and I'm already up and going. Like right, it's right. pretty fun. It makes it, it, it changes your whole perspective really on those kind of waves. It changes it from like, oh, it's terrifying to like, oh, this is fun out here. Yeah. Or it can. Yeah. It can yeah. still be terrifying. I mean, the, uh, but that's why you want to be out there though. Yeah, totally. yeah. <laughs> the 80 is, uh, I mean, the 8 you know, it's a great recommendation. It's, it's, it's cool that you touched on it, you know, because the 8 uh, seems to be a really popular size yeah. in this board. It's like, it's almost like kind of like the gateway drug to yeah, big, totally, to big way totally, surfing yeah. uh, because you you then can take like a big step, you know, from like your 6.6 six or something like that yeah. up to an 8 yeah. and then get out there and have a super fun time. And it doesn't feel time, like you're not you know? like, God, oh, this board's giant. Like, I, that's my experience at yeah. least is like, I don't, when I do step up to these things, I don't feel... Like I've, I'm just on some crazy thing that's impossible to ride. I feel like, oh, cool. I'm on a, it's like an extension of all these other boards in a way. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Let's talk about, let's put this one on the wall and then uh, talk about some bigger ones here. Let's grab this board up off the floor. Oh. You be able to lift that thing yourself or what? You know? Yeah, I know. You need an assistant. Yeah, this is a do you nine, make boards this is a nine than, six. Do you make boards other than orange? Like, are there any other <laughs> yeah. colors available? Yeah, these are just, by the way, not my choice of colors, but they're nice. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I like this orange. Tint, tint, insane. little tint. It's glassy. It's glassy. Yeah. Nice little. These so what size good. is this one? Nine six. Nine six. Okay. And nine, what are the six, dimensions on this board? One and a quarter, three and five eighths, three and five eighths. How many liters? How many liters do you have in that? Or is this I kegs? This yeah, is, this is seventy five liters kegs? and seventy five liters. But usually, like when people are ordering these things and they're like, "Oh yeah, I need a, this many liters." Da, da, da. I'm like. Dude, once you get into a nine six, like don't worry about the liters. You're gonna be fine. Like don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. Don't worry too much. Like 
you really think that the difference between like 75 and 78 liters is going to change no, anything for you? Really. I don't think so. And th these have like a nice mm -hmm. weight to it. It's got, this is probably a double six or a six four bottom maybe and a double six deck. So it's like, it's got some girth and weight to it, which is nice when you're, you might feel like you pick this up in a shop or something and go mm -hmm. like, oh, this board's heavy. But when you're paddling into a bomb on this thing, it feels really good. And you're just like, it feels smooth and like everything kind of like. It dampens everything yeah. out. Especially if it's windy. Right. And typically when you're surfing pretty good sized waves, it feels windy, even if it's offshore and then but the wave's it, moving, you're yeah. like blowing up the face and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm getting in. It's nice. Doesn't it, uh, but doesn't it feel big? Yeah, it's giant. But big. I love it. And, but doesn't it feel big though? <laughs> I mean, when you're out there, doesn't it feel big? Oh. I mean, but doesn't it feel big? <laughs> Watch the seal. See, I told you it was going to feel it's too big. big. It's giant. <laughs> it's really big. I can't even fit it in. It but I mean, big? seriously, John, doesn't it feel big? Yeah, it feels really big. I mean, <laughs> No, I mean, that's the question we get all the time. You know, again, like 6'2", like going oh, yeah. up to 9'6", yeah. they're yeah. like, but doesn't it feel yeah, big? Yeah, yeah, doesn't it? But yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah, it does feel yeah, big. It feels supposed freaking to. awesome. It's, it's freaking great. Yeah, like it's supposed to feel big. One thing that I like to kind of explain to people with these boards too is that the bottom, um, it has it has V, like typically guns of the, like old guns mm -hmm. were like really V'd out. Like everything was like, okay, control the speed and, and let it. T turn easy and everything right but v is actually kind of slow too mm -hmm. it like kind of pushes water mm -hmm. especially if you have v through the whole bottom of the board like up in the nose and um so like when when mark was healy was telling me like oh, i want to i want to board for like long big waves yeah i wanted to figure out how to make it fast too like i want to have it controlled but fast so i put double concave through it it has v so if you like lay a, fl a straight edge there's a v here but it also is scooped out on both sides of this so you have concave running through both of these, but so that gives you like a little bit of lift, but not like not lift more of speed. It like it scoops out that area, so it's faster water flow through there. Yeah. But having this V and this spine in the middle lets the board tip rail to rail really right, easy right. at speed. Whereas if it was like a single concave, you'd get Maybe. a lot of speed, but it wouldn't want to tip onto rail. Yeah. And so yeah. that thing's broken in half. You can feel it. it's like a little mini ramp, a little spine ramp. And um, that just lets you have more control, but also at the same time, keep that speed, which is really cool. And then uh, a few years ago, you went to dedicated quad uh, on, yes. on these boards. Tell us about that and why. Uh, the reason with that is that the fins, if you can, I mean, it's hard to compare, but they're pretty far forward for the quad. Mm -hmm. And then if you try to put a fifth fin in there or, you know, for a thruster, I feel like these are too far forward. So it doesn't really match up. Like it's like, I would prefer to have, if it was a thruster, this fin would be a little bit further back. Okay. Whereas like with short boards or smaller boards that I do the five fin setup, they all, it works fine. It's like set up that way. But the way I move these forward, it just gets kind of weird. So I feel like I'm compromising. I either have to like have the thruster be kind of weird, too far forward, or I have to have the quad be too far back. Okay. So I, right. and, and um, I just found the best setup from everybody that's ridden these that they all love the quad. And um, so I just kind of force that on people, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want to compromise. I'd rather... I mean, there's just way more people, like this style board, there's way more people riding quad. Yeah, I anyway. mean, it works. The quad is a... The, the, the performance part of a quad is that it really kind of rounds your turns out a little, you know, depending on the length of the board. And when you ride a board this big, you're not doing snaps. You're not pivoting right, your turns. Right. You're doing round turns anyways. So it doesn't really take away from anything there. And um, it really gives you a lot of speed and control. And so it just seems like the best route to go. So this board, I mean, of all the boards you make, like this board probably comes like in the widest range of sizes. Yeah. Um, I mean, because what other model do you make that, no, that goes from like from, 610 to like yeah, 1010, you, you know, like you know, a, four, a four foot range, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, 610, 72, where are you riding them? Like, or where are most of the people riding them? A lot of like, a lot of the boards, the smaller ones, like in uh -huh. the seven, six range, and mostly like in seven, six to eight, six guys are like, like Ocean Beach in San Francisco. Okay. It's a really popular board because you have really long paddles. It's hollow. Yeah. You get some pre, it's, it's not super long waves. Like it's more like a peak a lot, but it's like really good as far as paddling back out. It's a yep. nightmare paddle there. Yeah. Um, Blacks is another wave that people like that when it's bigger. Um, Toto Santos down there. And then like, um, just sunset obviously yeah, over yeah. there and like you guys like them in puerto rico yeah. different sizes i don't know about the smallest smallest ones but um and then a lot of guys take them like an indo the 
the like a seven six i make a ton of those for into like Bali, okay. all over um like uluwatu or or um impossibles there's okay. a lot of kind of older guys that love the seven six to eight oh at impossibles yeah, yeah. just anywhere where there's like either a, a sizable lined up wave or just even like really long paddles just stuff like that that kind of add up to different like the advantages are all yeah. really good for that i mean the paddling on it like not only does it like paddle like out of the gate a lot faster than anything else but it builds momentum like yeah. it's not just yeah. like those first two strokes it's like at your 10th stroke it's still it's still going faster yeah you know it gets you down the face what too. about like, like the next the next bump like your like your eight six to nine six like that things that? like sunset for sure uh-huh puerto rico you're gonna ride like and then um the same thing even like even the big wave guys that really like big like um ocean beach yep, you're yep. gonna ride that thing there and then once you get above that it gets a little more refined or you know what another wave that really goes good for them is um cloud break like big cloud break oh yeah guys love yeah. it it's a really good board for there because there's still it's hollow but you just need something to get in and then you want that projection down the line right and right it, but it's still um the boards still have that maneuverability to tube ride you're not just like setting a line like oh i have to just go straight you can actually like adjust in the tube um and then the bigger boards like when you get into really big stuff it's like, like typically nine, six and up yeah typically it's going to be for sunset mm -hmm. um maybe like where you like to surf in puerto rico and then um, Waimea, Waimea, and then Jaws. Is and the, then like, the Outer Reefs, too. Yeah, all the Outer Reefs, which I'm not supposed to say the names, but everybody knows. No, them, you, but, just, you, just, yeah. you just cloud, you just yeah. go yeah. full, like, just a, <laughs> it's the cone of yeah. Outer Reef. That's it. But um, Jaws, this board's been, Billy Kemper's won Jaws three times on this board. He yeah. rides for a different company, but he gets these boards on. Right, him. right. And, um, and then, like, John, all these guys, like John, oh, John won the Eddie on this thing. Yeah, so, exactly, yeah. yeah and what was pretty, that board? That was a... That was a 10.5. 10.5, yeah. okay. And that was, it's funny, that was one of the first, I think that might have been the first 10.5 I made him, and he still has that board. Like, he that still green, rides that, that, that green That wasabi one, yeah. green. That's the one, I've made yeah. him multiple ones since then, yep. and he still just goes back to that one, like, keeps riding it and mm -hmm. still holding it in together, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. But all the guys, like, all the YMA guys that I make boards for, all ride this board, obviously. And... My typical biggest version of this is usually I make ten fives for those guys. It's kind of right. funny. That's kind is of is there a reason why it's ten five? Like people like my, ask us that all the time. Like yeah, why is the, it ten five? Um, the blanks that I like to use, Arctic foam. Uh -huh. That's their biggest blank that they make. So you can, can that's the biggest board you can get out of that yeah. blank. And I can get bigger boards out of other foam. So like I'll make bigger you know, I'll make ten sixes. I don't think I've even made one over ten six. Mm -hmm. They have so much foam in them that you don't really need like I mean, I, who needs an 11 foot board? I don't know. Like, doesn't really seem to be necessary. <laughs> I've right, not right, yet right. met the guy that needs an 11 foot board. Yeah, at least. yeah, yeah. I don't know. So yeah, that's it. Cool, cool. Well, that's a uh, little background info on the Pizel Padillac. If you have any questions about the Padillac or any of the other Pizel boards, you can always call us at the shop 252-987-6000 or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Uh, you know, the takeaway is that, yes, this Padillac feels big, uh, but in <laughs> it's big. certain situations, big feels good. Thanks for tuning in. That's what she said. <laughs>